is Sunday the 30th of October 2016 and today is the day I am moving to London, hopefully permanently. It's about half five in the afternoon. I've just moved to London. This is all my stuff. This is my room. It's really cold, but it's nice. I'm completely alone, so I'm kind of scared. Um, one of my best friends lives in this building, but she's not back yet. But I don't, I don't know what to feel. I'm so confused. Um, oh, this is so weird. I'm gonna be sleeping here. I'm gonna be living here. I'm gonna be working here. My whole life is gonna be here in this big ass city. I've got to unpack, I've got to make this place my own, I've got to meet new people, um, I'm really excited, like I feel excited, and then I think, oh my gosh, <laughs> what am I doing here, I don't know what I'm doing, I've got to work tomorrow, I should just settle in, just casually settle into a new life. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's a nice place. I'm smart. But I won't, I won't die in the city or anything. I'll be fine. It's the 31st of October 2016 and welcome to my room. Here is a room tour. This is a desk. Desk full of stuff that's really cluttered because I have no storage and no idea where to put it. It's a bed. It's where I sleep on it. Hey, I lie down on the bed for your entertainment. That sounds really weird. Moving, moving very swiftly on. Weirdly designed shelves where I can't really store anything, but I shove my crap up there anyway. Books, random tea and medicine and stuff. And that is a nightlight and that is Toothless to Dragon. Now for a wardrobe tour. Oh my gosh, all those bitchin' outfits in there. Oh my gosh. Socks, jumpers, coats. Let's just, let's just close back up. It me. I'm trying to hide my Snoopy pyjamas, but you saw them, didn't you? You, you did. <sighs> bathroom! That is a bathroom. Look, it's you. It's me. It's you. It's me. All my toilet trees. Gathered. Cluttered. Again, so much clutter. That's a shower. It's so interesting. Snoopy pajamas yet again. I just I don't know why I'm showing you my shower. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, yes. Fun, fun, fun bathroom. That's the view from what it's like in the shower. I may or may not have gotten stuck in the shower and struggling to get out, but let's not talk about that. Let's just that's right. Just exit. Exit the shower. Exit the bathroom. That's my door. You open it and then you get a little, a little kitchenette thing which I share with my neighbour. Ta-da! Yeah, I'm cooking stuff. And there's a microwave. That is a potato. I, I lived a really high life. I microwave potatoes and I eat them. Fine dining with cuckoo doodles. That is not my Frosties, shut that kettle lid. Yep. And that is my room, I guess. I don't know what else to tell you. Bye! It's now the 1st of November 2016. It's a Tuesday and I feel more settled in than previously when I was kind of freaking out. It's been a bit weird because like, I haven't really had time to just feel like I'm in a new place because I've just literally just arrived here, slept, went to work the next day, came home in the evening, that's been it. It's Wednesday the 2nd of November and I'm home, just had dinner, just working all the time. I can't even do anything this evening because I've got this place ripped, so I've got to get down to send on Friday. Also, I had to get like part of my room fixed and builders must come because they left behind these plants.
suppliers and um, well I've now claimed them as my own. <laughs> now Sunday the 6th of November 2016 and this makes a full week in London my first ever week I'm hiding in my bathroom because I don't want to record in my room in case my neighbor can hear me I'm not really sure how I feel about this whole week like when I first arrived I was a bit flustered because you know it's a huge step and everything and as the the days went on I kind of settled in very 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 quickly like I woke up the next morning went to work came back home and that was fine um, and I thought I had to feel a bit more lost or disorientated or just excited um, instead I was just super chill about everything and throughout this week I've just been like yeah I love it I work here not a big deal should it be a big deal? It is a big step, but I don't want to force myself to like feel something I don't feel. Also it feels like I've worked so hard for so long to be able to live on my own and have a job after university and to be able to live in London and work in London. Now I've achieved it, I don't really know what to do next. A, I haven't celebrated, <laughs> properly celebrated achieving this huge goal of mine because I'm not very good at self-celebration. Also there's a big sense of like well what now? What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do next? I don't want to like stagnate or get complacent or just not push myself so I need to figure out some new goals. But like I've just arrived here it's been seven days why am I fussing over all this stuff. Maybe I should just celebrate. So in summary of this week, I'm apparently I'm really good at adjusting to huge new life changes. Um, I need to celebrate arriving and achieving my goal and I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. Well I'm going to go sort myself out and I will have to see you guys in the next video. Bye!